Japan's Prime Minister vowed Tuesday to save the lives of two Japanese hostages threatened with beheading in an online video purportedly released by the Islamic State terror group. In the video, identified as being made by the Islamic State group's al and media arm and posted on militant websites associated with the extremist group, a militant threatened to kill the men unless a $200 million ransom was paid within 72 hours. If confirmed to be from Islamic State better known as ISIS, the video would mark the first public demand for ransom from the group in exchange for the release of captives. Advertisement speaking in Jerusalem, Abe called on ISIS to immediately release the hostages, saying that their lives are the top priority. Abe is in the midst of a six-day visit to the Middle East accompanied by more than 100 government officials and presidents of Japanese companies. In the video, the two men, identified by ISIS as Kenji Go Dejago and Haruna Yukawa, appear in orange jumpsuits like other hostages previously killed by ISIS, which controls a third of Iraq and Syria. The militant who threatens them speaks in a British accent and resembles a militant involved in other filmed beheadings. To the Prime Minister of Japan, although you are more than 8,500 kilometers 5,280 miles from the Islamic State, you willingly have volunteered to take part in this crusade, the knife brandishing terrorist says. You have proudly donated $100 million to kill our women and children, to destroy the homes of the Muslims. Japan's Foreign Ministry's anti-terrorism section has seen the Video and analysts are assessing it. A ministry official said the official spoke on condition of anonymity because of department rules. Speaking in Tokyo, Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshihide Shuga declined to say whether Japan would pay the ransom. If true, the active threat in exchange of people's lives is unforgivable and we feel strong indignation, Shuga told journalists. We will make our utmost effort to win their release as soon as possible. In August, a Japanese citizen, believed to be Yokawa, a private military company operator in his early 40s, was kidnapped in Syria after going there to train with rebel fighters. According to a post on a blog he kept, pictures on his Facebook page show him in Iraq and Syria in July. One video on his page showed him holding a Kalashnikov assault rifle with the caption, Syria war in Aleppo 2014, I cannot identify the destination, Yakawa wrote in his last blog post, but the next one could be the most dangerous, he added. I hope to film my fighting scenes during an upcoming visit, Yukawa's father, Shuichi, who lives in Chiba, just outside Tokyo expressed shock over the news in an interview with Japanese public television station NHK. I don't understand this, he said. I'm quite confused. Godu is a respected Japanese freelance journalist who went to report on Syria's civil war last year and knew of Yukawa. I'm in Syria for reporting, he wrote in an email to an Associated Press journalist in October. I hope I can convey the atmosphere from where I am and share it. ISIS has beheaded and shot dead hundreds of captives, mainly Syrian and Iraqi soldiers, during its sweep across the two countries, and has celebrated its mass killings in extremely graphic videos. A British-accented jihadi also has appeared in the beheading videos of slain American hostages James Foley and Stephen Sidloth. And with British hostages David Haynes and Alan Henning, the group also holds British photojournalist John Canley, who has appeared in other extremist propaganda videos, and a 26-year-old American woman captured last year in Syria while working for aid groups. U.S. officials have asked that the woman not be identified out of fears for her safety. Though the militant in the video links the ransom demand to the Japanese funding efforts to counter ISIS, it comes amid recent losses for the extremists targeted in airstrikes by a U.S.-led coalition. Its militants also recently released some 200 mostly elderly Yazidi hostages in Iraq, fueling speculation by Iraqi officials that the group couldn't support them. This is Abe's second Mideast hostage crisis since becoming Prime Minister two years ago. 
Al-Qaeda-affiliated militants attacked an Algerian natural gas plant in the ensuing four-day hostage crisis killed 29 insurgents and 37 foreigners, including 10 Japanese who were working for Yokohama-based engineering company JCG Corp. Seven Japanese survived. The Associated Press contributed to this report.